Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Great. All right. Uh, my name is Michael Hahn. Uh, I'm the athletic chair of the National Vanderbilt Alumni Chapter. You heard it right, alumni uh, athletic chair, not athletic director. That's <laughs> right. Uh, on behalf of our local Nashville Vanderbilt chapter, I welcome every one of you to brave the cold, uh, the rain, and possibly early snow this morning to come up here to support our program. And I wish y'all have a good time. Uh, now, if you will, please join me to welcome our national Vanderbilt chapter's president, my very best friend, Margaret Glennon, to introduce our keynote speaker for today.
Pat to be the voice of Commodore's go-to man. So we welcome you, Pat, up to the stage to help us um, with all the data and the intricacies of these wonderful athletes that we're honoring here today. So thanks, Pat, for doing it, and we uh, look forward to it. as the expert, you know you start out in trouble. Okay. Let me thank you for that kind introduction. It's always a pleasure for me to be in a room full of Vanderbilt fans with the opportunity to discuss Commodore basketball. When you look back at the over 110 year plus history of round ball at this institution, you might think our most exclusive club would be our All-Americans, and in a sense you are right. But it's not the All-American team that most people think about, the guys who score the most points, who grab the most rebounds. We've had 10 All-Americans recognized as best on the court in college basketball in a given year. So what about our SEC Players of the Year? We've had seven of those. Now, the most singular group of special athletes in the history of Vanderbilt basketball include the six men that we will honor today. They are our academic All-Americans, and let me introduce them to you then I will individually tell you more about their astounding careers, both here at Vanderbilt and since they left the university. Now, the first person I would call to stand up is Terry Compton. Uh, Terry is going to be at the game later today, but he was not able to make it with us this morning. Uh, Terry was Vanderbilt's first academic All-American back in 1974. Next is Dr. Jeff Fosnes. Jeff, could you stand up? Here. Jeff was one of Terry's teammates in Vanderbilt's first two-time academic All-America in 1975 and in 1976. Dr. Tom Schultz, please stand. Tom was a teammate uh, with Jeff Fosnes for a season or so, and he was on the academic All-America team in 1979. Thank you, Tom, for coming today. Next is Steve Grant, who gained academic All-America honors in 1990. Following Steve was uh, his one-time teammate, Bruce Elder. Bruce. I knew when I said that word, I hear somebody in the audience going, Bruce. Uh, Bruce, like Jeff Bosnitz, was a two-time honoree. First back in 1992. Then the next year in 1993, he was not only named an All-American on the team, he was named All-American of the Year for the entire country in Division I basketball. Our final honoree today is another teammate of Bruce Elder's. He is Frank Secker. Frank, are you here? Yeah. Frank was an academic uh, All-America back in 1996, and again, we thank all of you for coming to be with us today. Now, before I tell you more about each one of these individual honorees, here's some background on the Academic All-America program. It's administered by the College Sports Information Directors of America, or CASIDA. It has chosen Academic All-America squads since the 1950s in a number of college sports. As of January 1st of this year, the program is now sponsored by Capital One. Previous sponsors have included ESPN, the magazine, Verizon, and GTE. The selection process begins with the sports information director at the player's school submitting a nomination. The player must be at least a sophomore, as well as a starter or an important reserve who participates in at least 50% of the team's games. He must also, or she, but they do also collect in women's sports, must have a grade point average of at least 3.3 on a four-point scale. Now first, the district teams are chosen by the Casida membership among the nominees. Then the national squad is selected by a vote of the Casida Academic All-American Committee and Casida's Board of Directors. So that's how it's done. Now here's some more individual information about our honorees today, and I'll go back first to tell you a little bit about Terry Compton. As I mentioned, Terry was Vanderbilt's first basketball academic All-America, gaining that honor in his senior year in 1974 when he also made the All-SEC academic team. Terry was a three-time All-SEC player on the court, making those squads every year of his college eligibility, his varsity eligibility, including first